So thanks everybody for attending uh, today. It's morning for some of you, afternoon for others. Um, I'm just gonna do a brief, pretty brief webinar here on some new functionality that was recently released. I talked about it a little bit in a prior webinar. And then also threw in there um, one other thing as well that we've had for a while, but uh, all of a sudden people have been tuning into it. And um, so I just wanted to cover that as well. So I'm gonna talk about reoccurring donations, automatic membership renewal, and the one I just threw there at the end are acknowledgement letters, just to show you how that is done. So as is the uh, standing rules for these, I'm gonna keep it to 45 minutes or less. I think we'll come in well before that this morning or afternoon. Uh, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, just use that question area and every once in a while, I will glance at it and uh, answer your questions. Um, and if there are any questions I can't get to, uh, I'll go and post those answers as well. Uh, so what I want to talk about today are reoccurring donations, the ability for you to enable um, the option for a donor to elect to give on a monthly basis. Automatic membership renewal, which essentially will automatically bill and renew a membership upon the current membership expiring. Uh, how you're able to add word, uh, notification wording. We've extended that as a result of the membership renewal and, and that'll become clearer when I show that to you. Also wanna show you the donor portal. So when somebody is actually more than just donor, the constituent portal as well. Anytime um, somebody makes a purchase, a reoccurring donation, an automatic membership renewal, they have the ability to view that, update their payment method, cancel their reoccurring donation or automatic renewal. And then finally, I'm gonna show you the acknowledgement letter. So let's just sort of jump right into it. So I have a couple of different browsers uh, that I'm gonna be going to. One, I'm just already logged in as an end user. So here I am, I'm uh, logged in as an end user and I'm just gonna go and uh, come back to the portal in a moment. So I'm just gonna go in and make a donation. So I come into the donation. Um, we're able to go and configure, and this is all existing functionality, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on that. But one of the things we have the ability to do is somebody can select something and say, I want that to be a reoccurring donation. And then they can continue. And upon doing so, they will go through and check out Upon checking out, they'll be charged their $25. Now I'm logged in as Donald Smith, and that's why this is automatically filled in. This is a test site, so the credit card information is automatically filled in as well. Typically for an end user, or always for an end user, they log in, they'd have to enter their payment method, be it a credit card or even their checking account if your organization is elect to enable that, and they can make their payment. Upon making their payment, their card is charged. In addition to the card being charged, since I elected to um, have that be a reoccurring donation, I'm gonna be billed every month for that $25. So the reason I logged in as that person is if a person, anybody that's ever made a registration, uh, even if they've not consciously created a user ID and a password, Double not looks to see if we know who that user is based on a matching of their first name, last name, and email address. And if we know who that person is, we associate this purchase with that known constituent. If they've logged in, and you can always give them the option of logging in, then we know who they are all the time. So in this situation, I just went through and I did a donation to the zoo. You can see it's a monthly donation. Total payment was $25, last payment was $25, and that payment was made today, and it's active. The donor, in this case, Donald Smith, is able to go through. They can view the details of their donation. They can deactivate. In other words, I want to stop this monthly payment. So right now, they're actually not even right now, the way the monthly reoccurring payment works, it's from now forever until the user or you as an administrator go in and disable that reoccurring donation. And then we have the payment method. So if they ever wanna update their credit card 
They're able to go through and update their credit card, select a different payment method, and do that. Now, this function, um, it, anyway, I just want to leave it at that. So this is how the reoccurring donation works. Likewise, and I'll show you this in a moment, is the membership that has been enabled for automatic renewal. The user is able to go in, view the detail of their membership, deactivate, not deactivate the membership, but deactivate the automatic renewal, and likewise, update the payment method. And just so you know, on TogetherPay, and the majority of you are processing on TogetherPay, even if a card expires, even a card has a new number, TogetherPay is able to go and use that new credit card number so the user doesn't have to go in. It also um, increases the chances of a successful charge. So trusted merchants, what you're able to do is as a card expires or somebody um, detected a, a report of the fraudulent card and the card has been updated as a result, TogetherPay is, is able to still charge that new card. Uh, and that's one of the features of using together. So this is what the donor portal has. If I go in and I want to buy a new membership, and I showed you what the reoccurring donation looks like, if I go in and I buy a, do, a, do my membership, uh, if a membership has been, and I'm just going to go quickly and do this, if a membership has, um, is configured to allow for automatic renewal. The user, it's gonna be automatically checked when they get to the cart, or the, and the user can deselect it. Now this automatic renewal is configured at each individual membership. So you may elect to have automatic renewal turned on for certain membership levels, but possibly some of your higher tier dumb memberships or your, um, you may want to do the personal touch upon renewal in order to solicit additional funds or whatever it might be. So you may elect to turn this on for every membership or only selected memberships. And I'll show you how to do that in just a little while. So at this point, if I keep this on and I check out, I make my membership payment. Next year when my membership expires, it'll automatically renew, charging the credit card that we have on file, and sending a copy of the receipt for that new, that renewal to the uh, member so that they have access, they have an indication that their new membership was successful. So that's how that works. That's how it is from an end user perspective. So now let me go in and where I'm logged in and show you a few things. Right, I'm logged into this current site. And I'm going to go in and create, uh, go into event management. And when we go into event management, we go into donations and I can create a new donation or I can edit an existing donation. I'll just edit that donate to the zoo. And if I edit this donation and scroll down, this is just the standard configuration for donations that you see today. And I scroll down. I'm able to enable or disable, and when it's a new donation, I would have to enable it, is the reoccurring payment. By doing that, the user will have the option of making a one-time donation or a, um, a reoccurring donation. So let me just go and I see I have a question here. Our membership expires 1231 of each year. Does auto renewal happen at the time? Uh, it's a one year initial purchase. It'll do the renewal based on however uh, the membership is set up. So in the case of it expires in 1231, it will do the renewal at that date. Note that uh, most memberships are set up that it starts on the day that someone purchases it for a year, either a year to the end of the month out from now. You also have the ability in some organizations, not many, many do the, uh, the membership is effective from 1-1 through 1231 of that year. And then the following year, they create a new donate, a new membership level for the 2020 membership. So when you do a, re when the answer to your question is yes, so long as 
the 2019 membership has specified within it which membership it should renew to. And um, you can, uh, Maria, you can uh, email us and we'll get back to you uh, with more details on that if you have any questions. Um, do members with auto renewal active receive renewal notifications? Great, I was gonna go over that next. So let's go over renewal notifications in a moment. So this is for donations. I'm, a, I'm able to enable the reoccurring donations. Now I have time, I'm gonna come back and talk about something else there in a little while as well. So that's our donations. Now let's go over to memberships. When I go to memberships, if we have existing memberships, membership management, <clears throat> so if I go to a membership, one of the things I'm able to do when I edit the membership is if I scroll down in the membership itself, I go to the bottom and I will see automatic renewal. If I enable that, then that option that the, the member has when they're purchasing a membership will give them the option to automatically renew. As a matter of fact, that will be the default setting and they can always deselect it if they don't want to automatically renew, okay? Now, specifically to your question um, about notifications. We've always had the ability within the system to send out notifications, renewal notifications. So the functionality that's been in the system says, X days before a membership expires and continue sending it out to those that have not done the renewal for so many days, every five days, send out a message. And you have the ability to select, and I'll show you where we create this wording in a moment, we have the ability to select a set of wording that would go out to memberships that have not yet expired, as opposed to those that have not yet renewed and have expired. So you can send out pre-expiration, the renewal notification that says, new membership is soon, uh, is coming up for renewal soon, please renew. And you can add custom wording to that, which is that renew soon wording. If I click on preview, you can see what that wording is. And you can have different wording for when the membership has expired. My favorite, which I often convey the story, is um, uh, one that worked on me one time, my membership, at a museum expired and the email I got said, of all people, I'm surprised to see you let your membership expire. Well, it worked and I renewed my membership only then later on thinking about it, they didn't really know who I was. I just uh, sort of used that wording, it worked well. So this is the wording that goes out to people who have elected not to have automatic renewal. If I have configured automatic renewal, I could say, you can say, hey, listen, seven days before it renews, uh, I want to send out a notification. And I could say my automatic renewal wording. And again, I'll show you where you create that wording in just a moment. And you can send that out. So the people where it's set for automatic renewal will receive that message. The people who have, spec have not specified automatic renewal will receive this combination of wording. And again, you have the ability to schedule that and um and it would go out and for the ones where it's automatic renewal you only need to send it once that you're going to be billing that card okay let me hit cancel there and go back and i'm just going to discard this okay so that's how we do the renewal let me just scan i have a few more questions i answered some of those is enabled is it default selection still one time other question how often so right now um so right now the the question was on the donation when you do the donation the default is one time and they can select the monthly option Right now, the only option is monthly. Some people have said, can you make it quarterly? Can you make it? So we'll look, we'll look at some other options there, but right now it's a monthly option and the person can select how much they want to give that month, okay? But the default is the one time, not the monthly. They have to select the monthly. So I think that was your question there. Uh, so people aren't gonna mistakenly do a monthly donation. 
And you can always configure these for, you know, whatever the ask amounts are, as well as the ability for the person to type something. I'm going to come back to this in honor of or memory of at the end, because I can see that someone's already asked a question on that. Okay. All right. So let me show you something else. And this is function that's been in the system a long time, but people are just sort of tuning into it uh, now. So let me just go and clear my cart. I'm in as an administrator, so I won't do that. So what I'm going to do now is show you acknowledgement letters. And then I'm going to come back to donation and talk about tributes and memorials. So I go to feature list. One of the things that we have in this system, and it's not enabled for everybody because we just don't want to be supporting it. And you know, you'll see why because it involves mail merge. But we'll turn it on for you if you'd like, and this is what you're able to do with it. I'm only going to show you a subset of the functionality here, but I can click on template management. And when I click on template management, all the templates I have, I have active or up there. So for gift cards, family memberships, membership that card, those are some of my templates. So I am going to do something here. I'm going to delete this one and we're going to rebuild it and you'll see what this does. So I'm going to download this template. So I downloaded that template. I'm going to just go in and uh, clean this up a little bit, and then we're going to go and rebuild that template. And you're saying, what does this template do? And now we're going to go through it. All right, so I deleted that. So what this is, is if I go to my downloads folder, whoop, if I go to my downloads folder, I can go and open that document. So here's that document I just downloaded. Thank you, letter, okay. So this is a Microsoft mail merge document, okay? And you can see I put my logo here. I have the wording. Those of you who are familiar with doing mail merge knows what this is. And I have certain mail merge fields here. So first name, last name, address, city, first name to, the amount of the gift, the gift date. And this is Microsoft, uh, functionality. So for the gift date, you can see that what I've done is um, uh, I've actually said I want my date formatted this way. Microsoft mail merge functionality. Okay, so that is in the system. And so I can go and create this. I can put in a little picture of the digital signature, of the executive director, whoever you want signing these acknowledgement letters. Microsoft Word, so you can put in there your tax ID and thanking them for their gift. So I have that document that is that mail merge document. Now, I can go in and I can create a new template. I could say, uh, uh, thank you for your donation, your gift. Okay. And I could say it's an activity template. There are some other options there. And it's asking me now to go and choose that thank you letter. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna upload it into the system. So now we have this thank you for your gift template. I'm able to now go and assign this to whatever I want to assign it to. In this case, I want to assign it to that donation. I can assign this to multiple donations. Maybe every donation I have the same acknowledgement letter that goes out. So it doesn't have to be limited to the one donation. So I, I map, I assigned that template. Now what I need to do is sort of map it to the information that I map the fields in my email template to the information that I've collected as part of this donation. So I'm going to map the template field. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is say I want to create a PDF file. You can have it just create the word file if you want this in PDF. And I want this link to be on the receipt. So when the donor makes their donation on their receipt will be that acknowledgement letter. <clears throat> now, here are the fields that it's been able to look at that mail merge document and it found the mail merge fields. And if it can, it maps uh, the, to the information that I collected as part of that donation. So you can see a map first name, last name and so forth. So I have the other first name, first name two. So I'll put in there registered by first name. 
It says the amount, I'll put in there the total amount paid. Uh, and then the gift date would actually be the start date, the date they actually made the gift. Now, I will tell you that if you attach a form to this donation and collect other information, that form would also, the fields in that form would also be available for you to include on that mail merge document. So it goes well beyond that. Now, I'm just focusing on the acknowledgement letter of a donation. So at this point, I'm just going to go and do this. Everything is mapped, I believe, the way I want. It's a PDF file. It's attached to my receipt. And now I can go and save that. Good. Now, let's go see what that looks like. Just I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to go to my donation. Events management. Now, in the email I receive as a donor, my receipt. Um, this is a test site, so we don't send out real emails. So I'm just going to go to manage donations. And you can see that we have a couple of donations here. I just did that one for Donald so we could see that. So I'm just in as an administrator. So I'm just going to view payment and then I'm going to issue the receipt. Now you're going to notice this is my receipt and attached to my receipt is thank you for your gift, whatever you label that. When I click on this, assuming I've done it correctly, it's actually going to bring up that template. Here it is, the PDF file. And it says this is the date, Donald Smith. $25, I made that donation. So what this does is it allows you to go through and create this acknowledgement letter. It's attached with your tax information. And in many cases will alleviate you sending out the uh, acknowledgement at the end of the year or anything like that. They get it as part of their donation. Now you could still pick up the phone and send a personal acknowledgement or thank you to that person that just gave you a million dollars online. Uh, but this will suffice for much of the, many of the acknowledgements you have to go and do. So that is there. Uh, what you need in order to do that, you can email support and ask them to turn on the template management. Uh, but only do what I showed you. Template management we use for a lot more. You can attach uh, a template to any event or anything like that. So it's a pretty powerful tool for you to go and, and use. But it's there and it's probably most applicable in your, uh, for your donations and the acknowledgement letters. Um, the, um, the, uh, there's a question out there on donations. It said for monthly gifts, or thank yous generated for each payment, yes. So whenever a payment is made, the person is notified of their payment. I think they receive a copy of the receipt, if I'm not mistaken. But they'll certainly receive notification of that payment. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you something else. Uh, and I just thought about it coming into here. So let's go in. I'm going to do a donation. I'm just going to do it uh, logged in as an administrator here. So we talked about the reoccurring donation, but we also have the ability in this system that's built in. You don't have to use a form to go and do this. Most of you are using forms today because this functionality was not available. But you do have the ability, and I'll show you how to go and do it, uh, to say, yes, it's in memory of or honor of, and this is standard functionality. So you can just go through and enable this. It would select, you know, if it's a memory of, it asks you this information. It will say, how do you want the person to be notified? No notification, mail notification, uh, which what it will do, it'll ask the person to enter the information as to where you would need to send the notification to, okay, and who it's from. Or you can then say, they could say email notification, in which case what would happen, the person making the donation would enter the information in, including the email and the special note, and double knot would send notification of this gift in memory or honor of to this person. Uh, so the system will be able to go and do that. Again, most of you are using a form to accomplish some of this functionality today, but this is now built into the donation if. There's my big if. 
Uh, here is something that how this works. So if I go and I edit that donate, if I edit that donation, one of the things that you're going to find when I scroll to the bottom is whether or not we want to enable the tribute, which is that honor of or in memory of. And I can be disabled or enabled. This requires, this requires you creating and having in the system a campaign, a fund. You don't have to have a campaign fund and appeal. You can just have a campaign, I believe, or campaign and fund defined. Uh, and that's a whole other topic. If you really need this functionality, we could turn on the campaign management for you, the campaign management that currently exists in DoubleNet, just for the purpose of going in and creating a campaign fund and thereby allowing you to configure the tribute functionality. You can always do that again. You can do that today using a form, but that functionality is in there. And I will likely have a future webinar on campaign management. There's a lot happening on that front. But right now, we have the ability inside of DoubleNot under campaigns to go, and I'm not going to do a, a, a complete demonstration and description of this functionality, but you're able to go through and create a campaign. And for the purposes of the tribute and honor of, um, if you have the campaign defined, you'll be able to select the option to allow for the, the, uh, the tribute functionality to show up. If you don't need it, you can always continue to do it in the form. Uh, there's nothing wrong with going and doing that. So, All right, oh, ooh, we got some other, can you add fields? So can you add fields for the donor to enter a physical address and the gift notification? Yes, you just saw that, I think. When we did that notification, if it says mail to, they're able to put in the fields would show up in that functionality. So again, if we click on donate, and we say in honor of, and we say how do they want to be notified if it's mail, you'll notice that the information shows up here for them to enter as to where that should be uh, sent to. You can also be using a form today, accomplish the same thing. So you don't have to use this other functionality. So let me see if I hit, can we add section to donation that says, please recognize my gift as, uh, please make sure we list it as, clear. so yes, you can. So in double knot, you can go through and you can, create a form and if you don't know how to create a form you can just contact support and you can create a form to select a quick select uh to collect any information you want so if it's just as recognize my gift as and there's a drop down menu option there i can go through and let's just go do it we have a little bit of time so i can go through and i could say I'll create this form. I'm just going to keep it simple here. And I could have an option there that's a drop down option that says recognize my gift as. As. This. That. Other thing. Whatever, whatever it is. Do you want to actually have them do it? You make it required. And I could add that. And then when you go and you create your donation, you're able to attach that form. And that would be the information that the person person can select so that um, they can do that. Or if you want to be able to type in a description, recommend it as Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Donald Smith, uh, you can go and do that as well. So you can collect the text on a form and attach that form to the donation. So hopefully, um, you, you can see what I'm talking about there. Okay, great. If you if you use the mail merge template feature, is there some type of flag or report built in to indicate that the donation has been receded? Uh, well, any donation made online has been receded. So, uh, so maybe I'm not fully maybe I'm not fully understanding your comment there. But we could we could talk about that a little more. 
Uh, so, uh, and then fill in Donald Smith versus Donald Smith Jr. versus Donald Smith. Yeah, so I think I just answered that. Uh, you can actually collect um, any information you want so they can type in how they want to be recognized. Uh, do uh, uh, activate, receive renewal notifications if that was set up. So do members with auto renewal activate it, receive renewal notifications? So let's go back to that. The answer is yes, if you've set that up. Under memberships, and memberships where you've enabled uh, renew, uh, automatic renewal option, there's now a section that says, uh, send out a notification, you know, X days, five days, reminding them that their membership is gonna automatically renew. And after it renews, they get a copy of the receipt indicating their membership has renewed. Uh, is there a way for members to turn on uh, now in advance of the expiration. So the question there was, is there a way for them to go in and turn that on in advance of the renewal? No, there isn't. Um, however, when they, if, if you've enabled automatic renewal, uh, upon doing their renewal this year, it will actually go in and uh, give them the option of automatic renewing, but there is not the ability for you to go, for them to go in and say, I know my membership is expiring next July 1st, but turn on automatic renewal now. No, there's not that ability. Um, Lynn, let me talk to you more about the acknowledgement. I want to make sure that I, I fully understand your question. Question has, as it relates to acknowledgements, is there a flag to say whether or not you've acknowledged a donation? I assume you meant the e um, US Postal Service acknowledgement. If that's the case, there is, and I could talk to you about how to go and do that, but it's it's sort of under the campaign management side of it. There are some flags there. Okay, let me scan and see if there are any other questions. Okay, no problem for monthly donations. For monthly donations, when does it expire? It never expires. So if someone says, uh, I want to give monthly, it will keep doing the monthly donation until the donor goes in and terminates the donation or you as a, a um, as an administrator go in and do so. So in that membership portal that I showed you before for that person, Donald, Donald is able to go in and we go click on my account. They're able to go in to that renewal and say deactivate it. In other words, don't charge me anymore. But there was no end date specified, uh, which is pretty much the norm out there right now. It does, most systems are not saying give $25 a month for the next year. Most organizations want that renew, that notification to go on forever. I believe there is some in both memberships and in that. I believe if that you mark the constituent uh, uh, deceased, it'll stop doing that automatically. So it does do those checks, I'm told. So. So let's see here. Could you add the option of entering an end date for reoccurring donations? We've had extensive conversations about that, and right now there is no, uh, there is there is not the intention of adding that, Jamie. Uh, it's just as I just mentioned, it's for now to attorney until they turn it off. So there is not the ability for them to specify an end date. Uh, and when we're talking to folks and looking at pretty much the norm, that, that is pretty much the norm that is out there. So we went on for 35 minutes, longer than I thought we actually would with that functionality. But I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send us an email, doublenot at doublenot.com. Uh, also, we'll record this and put it online so if you want to go back and look at it. 
the functionality for the reoccurring payment and the membership is there today. And if you want to do the acknowledgement letter, we can turn on, there's two choices there. We could turn on the template management for you. Just have to send a request to doublenut at doublenut.com. Some organizations, I will tell you, elect to just have us do it. There's a fee for that. If you want us to do it, we could do it. Um, and I just ask that if you do this, you go and you test it. So you go and you create the thank you letter. You go to an existing donation like I showed you before. If there's an existing donation, a live donation that you're putting that on. And you test it to make sure the mail merge is working. Was, if anybody has done mail merges before, you know that there are potential surprises, things don't work exactly right. So you want to make sure, as with everything, you go through and you test it. I will tell you one thing uh, that I have found. We use a third party uh, for doing the mail merges. Um, and I have found that when you do the mail merge, it's pretty straightforward, it's fairly easy. Uh, that when you do your mail merge field, just have them be one word. I have found sometimes that the mail merge engine doesn't like first space name as an example, so just make it first name. Uh, amount, gift date is one word. Um, and you should find it's, it's fairly straightforward to do, but it's important that you go and you test that acknowledgement uh, to make sure it's working the way you intended to be working. So with that, one more scan of the questions. Uh, where do you post these online? So we'll send an email out as part of one of the uh, Monday news. Uh, but also under training videos and production, you'll see webinars. And you go back and look at past webinars, as well as this webinar will be at the top of that section. So with that, I hope everybody has a great day. Any questions again, send the email to doublenut at doublenut.com and hope all goes well. Take care.